Yo, so dude, um, it's your boy, Chef Bueno, in the building, and today, I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful, a little, a little snack you can all make, um, and it's really easy, all you need is some spoons, either, um, either like bar, of chocolate like you know there's like massive bars like dairy milk or you can get chocolate spread Nutella something like this chocolate I any mean, I think any chocolate spread would do you also need butter some honey and if you want this is optional maybe a little bit of sugar All right so um, I've already done the first step oh and you also of course need pretty much the main ingredient cornflakes um or anything like cornflakes you know as long as it's some sort of cornflakes it will do so what is in the first two steps what you need is your spoons two spoons maybe two spoons i don't know and what you need to do is you want to pour out the cornflakes into a bowl um doesn't matter how much you want um just pour how much you want in then you want to grab a spoon well yeah you want to get a spoon scoop out some chocolate spread or if you have the chocolate bars break it up into little pieces put them in a s you can put it in a separate bowl or you can put it in the same bowl but i'm just going to do it with the chocolate spread i might do another tutorial on the chocolate bars some other day but today i'm doing it with the chocolate spread so you want to get a um scoop out some chocolate spread and you may need two spoons to do this just put it on top of the cornflakes right there first step done second step is you want to get some honey get another spoon different spoon and you want to scoop out the honey maybe not too much something uh, maybe like along the lines of these and you just wanna just you know put the spoon over the top of the cornflakes and just you know start waving it not waving it like about like freaking like that but just like try and get the majority of the honey off the spoon because it's going to like drip down like that so get as much as you can on the spoon well into the cornflakes and then what you need to do is you need to get your butter and you need to just scoop out some butter. Hold on. Scoop out some butter. Is this the right spoon? Yeah. Scoop out some butter. Put it on the cornflakes. You can use your finger for this. Just to, you know, kind of push it off the spoon. And, oh, make sure you wash your hands as well. Don't forget that essential part. Then, what you want to do, you could probably, if you want, you can mix it like beforehand, mix it a little bit beforehand, but you know, that's not really necessary at this stage anyway. Hold on, let me just, some cornflakes on the spoon. Anyway, so yeah, you want to just have all those in your bowl with the cornflakes, on top of the cornflakes, and then yeah. So, now what you want to do, do you want to come to your microwave? right you wanna take out all the spoons and stuff and then you want to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds just 30 seconds that's all you need 30 seconds and then until that's done you wait for 30 seconds 30 seconds and we're back. So yeah, now you just want to wait the 30 seconds. Whilst I wait, I'm going to eat my bowl of these cornflakes. Mm. Mm. And before you call me fat, this one isn't for me. It's for my sister, okay? Okay, I'm not that fat. Calm down. it's done so you want to 
get your ball out should look something along the lines of this right and once you do that you want to get i would preferably say the spoon that you use for chocolate or any other spoon that you have lying around and what you want to do is just mix it the reason why you don't do this beforehand is because what well, you can it's just that it will be a bit harder to actually mix it all with sometimes you might not have enough chocolate to actually go on all the cornflakes which is kind of what's happening to me right now but whatever you do do not put more chocolate in and just put it in the microwave because if you do that then it's pretty much gonna burn okay well i'm pretty sure it will uh, i haven't had too much good experience of making these on my own until now so yeah and um voila and if you want if you want if you're feeling a little bit frisky like a sweet tooth wants to come out to play you can get some sugar you can just you know sprinkle it out oh it might have been a bit too much yeah yeah but yeah and then mix it up and then ba bing ba boom you've got yourself some chocolate covered cornflakes guys tell me I'm not one of the greatest chefs you've seen all right so that's been enough from me uh, from your chef winner I'm, I'm actually going to hold on real quick. can I flip the camera yes I can okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this to my sister and I'm going to ask her what she thinks tell me what you think Thank you. Long story short, I'm a good cook. Okay, okay. Um, so that's it from me, Chef Bueno. Enjoy your fantastic cornflake, uh, chocolate covered cornflakes. I know I will enjoy mine for sure. And guys, I'll see you in the next video of Chef Bueno, where I teach you how to cook a mean grilled cheese sandwich. But for now, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.